live. Hello, everyone. I'm Robin. Welcome, students, to today's uh, live stream. I'm sorry, once again, there is no lesson prepared. There's no lesson prepared because I have to prepare a lot of lessons for my college students. Uh, I did. I filmed a, a PPT lesson for my college students today. 86 slides. So I didn't have time uh, for you guys. Sorry. But I have time to answer any English questions now. And uh, lots of people are here. Let's take a look at who is here today. Layla, hello. What did you do this weekend? I just edited videos you saw on the Shaw English. I uploaded I uploaded the big hour and a half pronunciation video. That took me two weeks to fix. So I did that this weekend. What did you do, Layla? Luis Gonzalez, hello. Carrie, hello. Uh, you guys are talking. Mike Tech, hey everyone. Uh, Mike Tech, let's not make dictionary questions today, please. Some dictionary questions are okay, not too many. If you're going to ask dish dictionary questions, you know, please check the word first. And I like example sentences. So if you do have a question about words, Please bring in uh, an example sentence. And hey, Frank. And Layla has a question there. Could could I know? Is there any difference between in the distance from a distance? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're different. Uh, uh, they emphasize different things. They're talking about different things. So your example sentence is Layla. Let's see. Uh, he saw light in the distance. So that means I saw light far away. So the light is uh, far away from me. And I've only seen him from a distance. Uh, I am far away from him. So in the distance, it is far away from me. And from a distance, I am far away from it. That could be a basic meaning. It sounds like the same thing, but they both mean far away. Just the perspective. It's far away from me or I'm far away from it. Sahiblu Tayang, hello. Yeah. Luis Gonzalez Salamanca. Hello. And Layla studies English every day, I think. Layla, do you study English every single day? Fanny, do you study English every single day too? Sahiblu, how can we learn vocabulary? The only way to learn vocabulary is through reading. Uh, read, Sahiblu. If you don't like reading, you're not going to learn much vocabulary. Uh, so please read, Sahiblu. Read uh, whatever you want to read in English. Just read. You will learn vocabulary. Do not study vocabulary lists. You're wasting your time. You're not learning English with vocabulary lists. Reading. Hey, Wynn. Hello. And Bishnu Uprati. Hello, Robin. I hope you're doing well. Well, you got a good sentence there. A perfect grammar, Bishnu. I am always doing well. I hope you're doing well, too. Layla has another question. Everyone was there except for me. The museum is open daily except Monday. Could you please check my... Uh, I would say everyone was there except for me. That's perfect. And the museum is open daily except uh, Mondays. I would probably put... Except Monday is okay. But 
you know, Mondays could mean all Mondays. So the, the museum is open daily except Monday. That's okay, but you could also say except Mondays, all Mondays. Smoker, hello. Robert, I want to know when do you use stoop instead of droop? And what is the difference of those with just hanging? Uh, well, Lewis, I, I can't think of the... Di you, you didn't bring any example sentences. So, stoop has many meanings, and I don't think it means the same as droop. So, those are different words. So, droop, your eyes can be droopy, falling. Slowly falling is droopy. Eyes are droopy. Uh, what else could be droopy? I'm not sure, Lewis. Bring me some example sentences with stoop and droop so I know the confusion. Because actually, they're not similar. Oh, maybe he stooped. No, bring example sentences, Lewis. Layla, this summer is coming into my country. This summer is coming into my country, so the weather is getting hotter and hotter these days. Sentence is fine. Curd health. Native speakers in America read going to as gonna and want to as wanna. Yeah, gonna, wanna. Shoulda, woulda, gonna, wanna, have to. There's lots of uh, contractions. Uh, you really can teach an old dog new tricks. Is it an idiom? No, that's a proverb. And the proverb is you, you can't, you know, I got to make sure that's on the board. So this is uh, the saying, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That is not an idiom. That is a special saying. Uh, so we, we would call it a proverb because it has some truth, some message. And you can't change the words. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's the proper. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we got a few questions here. And Smoker, what does it mean, this idiom, break a leg? Break a leg is an idiom that just means good luck. I know break a, break a leg sounds like bad luck, but that is an idiom that means good luck. So if you want to say good luck to someone, you say, break a leg. Samuel, Dame. Hi, Robbie. Robin, hello. In British English is the same. All English is the similar. <laughs> English is English. Every region of the world speaks English a little, a little differently. So even, even in America, English is di spoken in a different way in different parts. Yes, Robin, I study English every single day because I want my English skills to be better fast. Yes, you want to, You have a lot of information. I want to say it to others. That is, that is why you learn a language. And Shahiblu, thanks, sir. So I may about the timing of your live classes. Every every Sunday. Whoop, this way. Thirteen thirty. This time every Sunday. So, Sahiblu, you come at this time every Sunday. I am here. I don't know why to help. And if you uh, get help today, please, please support. If I if I'm helping you, buy me a coffee. A coffee a month is good. PayPal, join my channel. Links are below. You can also hit the dollar sign. Thank you very much. Win. 
Welcome aboard, he said expansively. Ex I don't know, expansively. I gotta check that. I have an idea what's expansively. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that's gonna mean unless I see, where did you see that? I don't know. I don't know, Wynn. Where did you read that? Fanny, I study English every day. Every day should be two words. I watch movies or a series with English subtitles. Yes, I read English quotes and watch lots of English lessons videos. Yeah. Yeah, Fanny, good for you. But make sure every day is two words. And yeah, Fanny, I think you do study English a lot. Uh, I've seen your questions. You got good questions. Fanny, Wynn, uh, Layla, you guys are always here with good questions. Carrie, for example, I haven't seen her f during four years. Is it correct? Should I use four instead of during? Uh, well, yeah. Yeah, you should use four. But for during is a common confusion. So that is actually a, a, an entire video by itself. So I want to make easy rules. Um, so here, I'll, I'll just make it. Yeah, thanks, Carrie. Eh. So I'm just going to focus on the four. And the four is a length of time. So in this case, uh, four four years four years is your length of time and mike tech i do study oh you guys are using every day wrong every day it's two words mike uh, okay mike watches tv shows youtube Good for you, Mike. It's it's good uh, you're practicing every day. I, I like diligent students. Oh, I lost. Oh, where's the next question? Okay. Layla, I'm sorry, but I have a meeting in a few minutes. I'll take my leave. When do I say I'll take my leave? Well, uh, when you have a meeting in a few minutes, you're with a group of people and you have to go, you'll say, I'll take my leave. It's kind of formal. So uh, if, if you're just with friends, you're just going to say, I have to go. I have to go. But I, I take my leave. That sounds a little formal. So in a business situation, in the situation you talked about there, I have, maybe you're at the company with some coworkers, your boss, I, I have a meeting in a few minutes, I'll take my leave. But most people are just gonna say, ah, I have to go. Layla, I feel itchy in my eyes because they have dryness. Could you please correct? Uh, I feel my, here, I would say, I'm gonna write this out here itchy itchy you want to scratch and I think you should just say my my eyes my eyes are itchy because they are dry this is a easier and more common sentence my eyes are itchy because they are dry Gary, do you think uh, Grammarly keyboard app is helpful? Well, 
No, well, it, it can be, but I don't recommend Grammarly. Uh, you you might see their ad before my videos. I don't know, but I, I don't know. Like I I don't use Grammarly. Grammarly to me is cheating, because uh, as a student you should try to learn the proper way instead of depending on the app. So. Grammarly can help people, but for students learning English, I recommend you don't use apps to help you do things. They can help you learn, but to actually help you do it, I don't like that too much. And Sashintha or Sakintha Fernando, some people say this car is sick. Is that a compliment? Great question. Slang. I, I, I like slang questions. We get a lot of idiom questions, but not many slang questions. What did you say? This car is sick? This car is sick. All right. So definitely this is slang because uh, we have a word. You guys are going to be confused. Sick? <coughs> no, this is slang. Completely different meaning. Uh, so nice, awesome, great. So it's it's a very positive slang word. So it can be a compliment. Your car is sick. Then that's a compliment. Where did you hear that? Now, I don't use this slang because I'm too old. But young people might say that. Nowadays, the internet signal, the ignorant internet signal is too weak, but today I'm lucky it is getting stronger. And yeah, I would just cha change sign. You don't want to say sign, you want to say signal. Kurt Health. All right, Robin, what's the difference between American and Brit British English? Make sure you have a question mark, Curd Health. That is a question. Every question needs a question mark. And the, uh, the main difference uh, is going to be pronunciation of vowel sounds and slang. So this is American slang. I don't know if British people use this slang. British people might use a different slang, okay? So slang is very regional also. So pronunciation, slang, that's the biggest differences, I think. Smoker, how many degrees do you have? Are you talking about education? I have I have a I have a bachelor's degree and two master's degree. I have TESOL certificate and CELTA certificate. I Overeducated. Sashintha, your channel is cool. You should say your channel is sick. <laughs> there we go. Cool can be included in that list. Thank you very much. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, Kurt Health. Again, you need the question mark. I mean, what are the differences between American and British pronunciation? Usually the vowel sounds. Uh, the vowels, very different. Well, not very different. So, yeah, yeah, the vowels can be very different between American, British, Australian, New Zealand. Those vowel sounds change. Intonation can change. Uh, but, you know, English is English. I can talk to anyone in the world in English and I understand them and Fanny what is the difference between every day and every day well every day two words means every day every day is an adjective and it's not so common so let's erase sick So every day as one word is an
If I made a sentence, uh, it's an everyday problem. So this is the adjective for problem. It means it happens every day. But uh, I study So this, this is more common. You want to express every day. This is not so common. Okay, there's not many expressions that we'd use it as an adjective. In, uh, Layla, how, I always seem to interrupt. So how do you pronounce interrupt? Interrupt. Interrupt. Win, please check my sentence. He is anxious that uh, other people think he is hiding behind a woman's skirt. All right, well, I'm going to fix it up a little bit there, Win. He is anxious that he is anxious that other think he is hiding behind a woman's skirt. I would take out that S. You can't have maybe singular skirt. Feel internally. Hello. Sorry, you were here 10 minutes ago. I'm not sure if you're still here. Anyway, feel internally. Hello. Oh, man, I'm behind. I got to move quick, quick, quick. Uh, Shahiblu, thanks a lot. I would love to come to your channel. Thank you. And I may I know what you meant. Well, you know, I'm here every Sunday for about an hour. And if I help you uh, and you want to help me, motivate me to keep doing this, uh, maybe some support of a coffee uh, once a month. That's all I ask. Everyone buy me a coffee. So the value of a coffee, well, in your country. Oh, hola, Miri. Hi, Mr. Robin. Why does everyone call me Robbie today? What is the easiest way I can speak English fluently? Well, the easiest way is to go to a country that everyone speaks English. That is the easiest way. But if you are in a country where nobody speaks English, then you got to work hard. And there is no easy way. It requires uh, a lot of... Well, Whatever you're doing, you have to have diligence. So when you're learning English, you need diligence, time, effort. And oh, la Marie, uh, if you, you should start reading a lot. And reading helps fluency a lot. Reading and listening a lot. Alina, because we don't work with a letter of credit, the National Bank needs more time for a control and for preparing an account. Please check this. Oh. Am I doing your work, Alina Shine? Uh, you know, I, I, I like to help people to study, but if I start doing their work, I got to get some of your payment. All right, because we don't work with a letter of credit, comma, the National Bank needs more time for a control for, I'm not sure what you're meaning, for control and for preparing. Uh, I'm not sure the meaning because uh, we don't work with a letter of credit. The National Bank needs time, uh, more time for control. I don't know what you mean by control. And for per and processing and for preparing an account. Everything before control is perfect. Everything after control, I don't understand, Alina. You got to be more specific. Layla, I can't bear this stifling humidity. I can't afford to buy a house. When should I use bear and when should I use afford? Well, you got two questions because bear and afford are not the same, not the same thing. So afford is about money and time. So there's your difference. Well, no, afford. What am I doing? You use afford with money and time. 
I cannot afford the car. I cannot afford to waste time. And Alina, because we don't work with a lot of the national bank, we don't have room for prayer. Yeah. Oh, Alina, you keep writing it. Luis Gonzalez, I don't understand what are the fingers like here. Splay stubby fingers that looked incapable of such delicate precision in action. I don't know. I don't know, Luis. Where did you get that? Seems like it's from a book or story or something. I would need more information. Well, fingers always mean fingers. These are fingers. Sorry, Lewis, I need more information. Feel internally. What is the difference between these two sentences? Being robbed is an awful experience versus having been robbed. Well, feel internally, you're using two grammar forms. And basically, uh, they mean the same thing. Native speakers are going to use them. Uh, Having been robbed, you just want to focus on that event that occurred uh, in your past. So, for example, having been robbed last year, blah, blah, blah. Uh, being robbed anytime, all right, anytime in past or future is uh, the focus of that being robbed. But the having been robbed... You're, you're, you're an exact experience in your life. Uh, does I, I hope that makes it clear, feel internally. Layla, all of a sudden we heard a loud noise. I suddenly realized what I, what I said, but it was too late. What's the difference between suddenly and all of a sudden? I think they're the same thing. It's the same thing. Uh, I can't think of every case, but in that case, they're the same thing. Let me just check. Suddenly, all of a sudden. Let's see if there's a rule. To me, they're the... Uh, They're all, they're the same. Right? They're the same. I can't find any rule. Ugh, I'm getting behind. I got to catch up. When I saw those strange words in English novel book, I think it's because of an old book, so I stopped reading the book. Well, if you tell me the name of the book and the page, I can always find these. Lena Shine, can we, you, we used a phrase, it should on next, uh, it should on new week or sh I should to use just next week. It should next week. I'm, I'm not sure your question, Alina. I want to help you. Can we use a phrase? It should on next week. No, I should to use just next week. Both of them are wrong, Alina. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Uh, can you try again? Lewis, what might be lumpish gracelessness? I don't know. I have no idea. Where did you see that? You guys are reading books and bringing in these weird expressions that these writers do. I, I may not, you know, I, I'm pretty good at everyday normal English, but these strange expressions. Was that from the dick? Did you get that oh, lumpish graciousness? I don't know. Is that from the dictionary? Are you looking at the... I don't know. Lewis, sorry, I don't know where that is. Cringy Spongebob, hi. Layla, she really gets attached to her cats. Last night he told me he loves me. Could be attached as the same thing of love? Well, no. <laughs> 
Attached is not the same thing of, as loved. So I got to go to the dictionary, Layla. Let's see. Let's use uh, Cambridge. Attached. And let's see there. Maybe Oxford is better. Attached. Mm. Uh, okay, I know what I'm doing wrong. Well, this is the best. And this is similar to love. So here, attached. Uh, full of affection or fondness. So is that the same of love? I, I'm going to say it's very close. So it's very close. But if you're attached to something, uh, it, it can be a type of love, but it, it's not romantic love. It can be, but it depends where you saw that. I know I'm confusing you, but I was going to say no. Be careful thinking that love is the same as attached. It's not. Fanny, I want to take a duty leave day off. Which one? Oh, uh, you want to? I want to take a day off. That's what I would use. I I don't know what they might use in British English, but I would say to my boss, I want to take a day off. Or please, boss, can I take a day off? Uh, take leave would kind of mean like a longer time. Like one week or a month. I want to take a leave of absence. I want to take a leave. That's a long time. But just one day, a day off. Layla, well, what is done is done. When do native speakers use this expression? Well, Layla, where did you see that? What situation did you see that in? Because uh, I cannot go through all the situations in my brain. Uh, so when done, it, what's done is done means it can mean uh, we cannot change something that has happened. We cannot change what some, we cannot change something that has happened. So what is done is done. And Lewis, I don't get what is coarse like her. Stumpy, dumpy girls with the rather coarse features, big buttocks, and heavy breasts. Could you explain? Oh, uh, Lewis, I don't know where you got that. Uh, if that's from a book, you shouldn't be reading that. Mm, yeah, I can't find... Uh, Lewis, yeah, I can't explain your book. If you're reading a book, Lewis, your level, the level seems a little high for, for you. Because this stuff, I don't even know what they're talking about. I don't even know, Lewis, what that author's trying to say. Kishore, hello from India. How's India doing? Layla, Robin, today you look so happy and healthy. I'm glad for you. Thank you, Layla. Uh, Fanny, can I say you're sick? Uh, I don't think it's slang. I don't think we use it for people. He is sick. I'm, I'm not sure because I don't use that slang. 
this is sick or your phone is sick. So describing a situation or uh, a thing, but I don't think we use it for people. You're sick because you're sick might be confused with your ill. So, Fanny, I'm going to, I am i don't know 100%, and it's very hard. I, I think what would be good is Urban Dictionary, because it's slang. We can't, che we can't check the dictionary for slang. You got to go to the Urban Dictionary, and then sick, and what's happening there? Oh, they're using it as, uh, I'll put a link here, Urban Dictionary Sick. That, or this is where you check all the slang. And it's, you can describe, you can describe people. So I'm wrong. So Fanny, yeah, you can say you're sick. But you got to, Fanny, you got to be careful who you're saying sick to. If you say sick to older people, they're not going to understand. You know, it's slang. It's for young people. So uh, be careful using that, Fanny. Not everyone's going to, not every native speaker is going to understand that slang. Layla, this was considered to be a religion, a religious, and so to be a matter for the church. I think, and so is this case, and then is not. What? What's going on here? This was. Yeah, so it can be then. And Lewis, do you think the north northern passage through Canada will ever beat the Panama Canal? Canal as a commerce route? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, Lewis. I'm I'm just an English teacher. I don't know if maybe not. I don't know. Kerr, Robin, can you tell us the best way for learning English, especially for beginners at level one? Yet yeah, the best way is reading. Reading is the key to fluency. So you start reading and then you start listening and you keep doing that every day and that will improve you. And, but uh, the reality is current health that people don't like reading. Well, if you don't like reading, you cannot be fluent in English. You have to read. Unless, unless you're living in an English speaking country, then it's di different rules. And Fanny, who is the last verse? Who is last? Which one is correct? The first, or who is the last first? Who is last? Oh, feel, so that's feel internally, sorry. Who is the last first? Who is last? Uh, I think they mean the same thing. So he is the first, he is first. Uh, we might add the to emphasize first, but basically, they are the same thing. He is first. He is the first. A little more power. I know there are very different accents inside the U.S. and inside the U.K. There are many different accents in Canada, too. Or all, No, every country, every language, there's different uh, dialects, different accents, regional differences. Every country, every language. Even your country, your language. Lolly, lolly, you're so late. Layla. Jeez, you guys, I'm still so far behind. In how many questions you got? I'm going to say stop. Right here is stop. No more questions. I got to catch up. Layla, hang on a minute. I'll be with you in a moment. I'll wait for public. I hate waiting for public transport. What's the difference between hang on and wait? They mean the same thing. Same thing. Samuel Dame. My name is Sammy. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Ethiopia. One of my hobbies is reading English. I've been learning for six months. What's the difference is I, or I am or... Well, 
All right. I'll help you out, Sammy. I hope you're still here. I am, and is this is called a contraction. So in when uh, people are speaking, we don't say I am. We're going to use I am. It means the same thing. The this you uh, ah, this this doesn't exist in English. That's not in English. We have to say live. All right. So there's many contractions, Sammy. Hmm. Wow, you guys, so many questions. Uh, Lewis, what's a letter of credit? I don't know, Lewis. That's a business word. I, I, I don't really know many business words. Letter of credit. So let's go to the dictionary. I'm not the dictionary teacher. There you go. I'm not even going to read it. There's letter of credit from the dictionary. Layla, she and her sister used to be joined at the hip when they were kids. When do you native speakers use join at the hip? Uh, uh, Layla, you have a new type of question that I'm going, maybe I will ban that question. When do native speakers use? I don't know. You're always asking that question, but I, I don't know, Layla. Join at the hip. Uh, when two people are always together. Maybe. She and her sister are always together. They're joined at the hip. Always together. Dungdo, hello. There was a faraway look in his eyes. He lives far away from her. Could I know what's the difference between far away and far away? Well, far away uh, is like every day. The first far away is an adjective. That's your adjective. So it's used as an adjective. Alyssa, sick can be negative. You slept with my boyfriend. You make me sick. Yep. But that is not slang. The other sick, we're talking about slang. Alyssa, that is not slang. I am sick and tired of being your minion. Yeah, that's the normal usage of sick. But as slang, it's something positive. Hello, Japanese bot. Layla, during my talking to others, I speak slow until I can remember that words I need to say. And even those people who I talk to can understand me. I can't speak fast, so give me some tips. Keep practicing. It's the only way to improve your talking speed is to keep practicing. Lewis, I got the stubby fingers example from the Oxford Pocket Dictionary of synonyms and antonyms. Well, stubby fingers would mean fat, fat fingers. That's easy, fat fingers. Layla, so Robin, which one is better to say suddenly or all of a sudden? They are the same. They are the same. And, oh, Alamiri, what's the difference between clause, phrase, and sentence? That's a dictionary question. And here, let's go to grammar.com and put it there. Oh, you got too many words. Uh, 
Here, I'll just, uh, it's too, too much to type here. There's a link. So, oh, Alimini, you got to read that link. I, I'm not going to teach dictionary words here. Fanny, I can understand what you're talking about, your pronunciation, your vocabularies, but could you talk at advanced level to measure and practice that I and everyone understand in the high level English? Fanny, uh, uh, I don't talk in an advanced level now. Are you judging my level as not advanced? Uh, well, Fanny, I do use teacher talk here because I'm a teacher and uh, that's a good question, Fanny. Is this, are these live streams for beginners, intermediate or advanced? Well, Fanny, I have to say these live streams are for everyone. So that means I have to teach to the middle. And when I teach to the middle, it means I have to teach at an intermediate level. And Japanese bot from Japan. Leila, when I give something to someone, then that person said to me, you're the best. Does it mean thank you? Yeah, you're the best. You're the best person. Yeah, that could be a thank you. You just want to say something very positive. You're the best. Thank you very much. You're the best. Alina Shine, we will get news next week. Yes. Can we say we will get news on new week? No, we got to use next week. Next week. That's an easy one. Frank, I want to share a tip with everyone that I found helpful in working with my English fluency. Sounds good, Frank. When you're on your way home from school or anywhere and there, anywhere, anywhere, and there are not many people around, you try to speak to yourself about your day or just, yeah. Uh, Frank, I would agree with that. If you guys can just talk to yourself, do it. Layla, I want to hear. Uh, so, Layla, you're asking about attached love. There's thousands and thousands of situations, Layla, with each word. And you're asking questions. Uh, where you want to know when native speakers say this and do they mean the same thing? And I cannot think of the thousands and thousands of situations. So the solution is to keep reading. And you will see attached more, you'll see loved more, and then you'll get a sense of when to use them. Uh, asking me with these questions, when does native speaker use can't help you. I can't think of thousands of situations. It could mean love. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I have to see the situation. But, you know, it's good for you uh, to start thinking of these vocabulary differences, Layla. That means you're starting to study at a very advanced level. But you're going beyond teacher help. The solution is to keep reading. Lewis, if taking one day off is something that has to be requested, then how do you call the resting days that are mandatory? Well, that's your uh, vacation. All right. Well, when did you write that? Uh, 11.05. It's oh, 15 minutes ago. I hope you're still here, Lewis. I could say Saturday and Sunday, it's a capital, are my days off. So Saturday and Sunday, I do not work. They are my days off, my usual days off. Next week, uh, I asked my boss... For a day off on Tuesday. So it means the same thing. So these are the normal days off. I don't work. And then I asked for another day off. Oh, when I showed you this book. Okay.
Yeah, Layla. I hope I don't waste your time to reach about the meaning of attached the dictionary. Well, so yeah, uh, it's hard for me to explain, Layla, how you're expecting me to be a master of words. And everyone here, I'm not a master of words. I'm a native speaker of English. I have experience teaching English. I have education uh, to teach English. But I did not master every word in the English language. And when you guys ask me about words without example sentences, it's really hard because, again, there's so many different situations words can be used in English. And sometimes they mean this thing. Sometimes they mean another thing. And when you expect me to have the answer, I feel bad because I don't know. I don't know. So I might go to the dictionary and just follow what the dictionary says. If I don't know, I'll just follow the dictionary. Uh, Layla, I'm going to turn you all loose in a minute. See how many different kinds of leaves you can collect. Could you please explain... You will lose. Well, you got lose in your example and loose. So don't confuse lose and loose. So I'm going to turn you all loose in a minute, which means I'm going to let you go. So. I don't see I don't have enough information uh, so if there's students if I'm in a classroom and I might say I'm gonna say to my students I'm gonna turn you all loose in a few minutes which means you can go by yourself without me so loose you're uh, without me without me Luis Gonzalez is a clouk like a poncho what is a clouk is that English that's not English clouk that is not English, Lewis. There's no clouk in English. What are, you, what are you trying to say? Oh, maybe you mean cloak. Cloak. Uh, cloak and poncho are similar. They can be similar, but I, I think a cloak and a poncho are, they, they can be a little bit similar, but they are different things. Lewis, make sure you get the spelling right next time because I was like, clock? No, you want to say cloak. O A K. Cloak. Layla, I was watching a video on YouTube, then I saw what is done is done. All right. Yeah, yeah, it's something we cannot change. V English TV, speak English. Nice your lessons. I'm helping people to learn English here on YouTube. Good luck. Let's go take a look at V English TV. Did they just come in to promote their channel? V English TV. I am looking at V English TV. I cannot find V English TV. V English TV, speak English. I don't see it on YouTube. Oh, there it is. Whoa, this is a little big channel. Oh. Interesting. All right, V English TV, are you still around? Or maybe you left. Fanny, I often hear expressions, actually I don't know, are these expressions or what? Here you go and there you go, the same thing. Here you go, there you go, same thing. Layla, you didn't ask any bad questions. I just, you're, you're, you're reaching my limit of help. I cannot help with a lot of your questions. That's, that's my only frustration. 
And Alyssa, Layla, Tom, oh no, I submitted the wrong project. What am I going to do? Ben, well, Tom, what's done is done. We can't do anything about it. Yeah, you cannot change it. I prefer, Wynn says, I prefer to reading on books than ebooks. Okay, you prefer reading books than ebooks. English books are expensive here. I can't choose my level. It's my problem about reading. Now I practice reading skills by reading emails on Instagram. Well, whatever you enjoy doing is what you need to do. Whatever you like to do about reading, do it. You don't have to read books. If you don't like it, you can read other things just as long as you enjoy it. Fanny, I'm sorry I didn't mean to judging you. Don't worry, Fanny. You're the best. Uh, yeah, watching movies without English subtitles. Fanny, is that your goal of English? Because that's a different kind of English. Uh, I teach international English. I don't teach Hollywood English. So uh, you might be frustrated because the English I try to teach is more practical, which means when you get a job using English, uh, the expressions you need to say and the words you need to say and the grammar you need to use will help you in the international business level. Hollywood English is very different. That's more f for becoming... Uh, you want to become fluent in American Hollywood English, which is a good hobby, and please continue doing that. But uh, not so a lot of that is not practical. It's not going to help uh, my students. For example, the the slang "sick" today, which you know that you might hear that in a movie, but in international English or business English, you're never going to hear "sick." Magna, hey, I'm fine. Yeah, Magna, you're a little late. Thamari, Kanan, hello. Uh, Fanny, and when I have conversation with others, I didn't get it perfect. That's why they're talking just a little. And that's fine, Fanny. If you've got any questions, you bring them in. I will try to help always. Anytime, Fanny. Syed was eating. Uh, I think studying English is more important than eating, Syed. Samuel Luna, hello. Samuel Luna, what does cloak mean? Hey, that's great. Go to the dictionary. Check it out. I'm not a dictionary, Samuel Luna. And Lewis, how do you pronounce soap versus soup? Yeah, there you go. Soap, soup. Listen again, Lewis. Repeat after me. Everyone repeat after me. Soap. You wash your hands with soap and you eat soup. Soap, soup. Soap, soup. So, su. Soap, soup. Leila, please, Robin, don't feel bad. No, I don't feel bad. Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't worry, Leila. Oh, I'm all caught up. Lewis, is there a song that you have to get subtitles for many times to understand it, Robin? Or is it just me? Songs? I don't understand songs. It's hard to hear the language on a song. If you like, I, I would suggest study Disney songs. Those are really easy. But if you want to study pop songs, oh, yeah, I would probably need to check the lyrics of the song you know i can't listen to a pop song and hear all the lyrics no 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 no. disney song i could probably hear all the all the lyrics those are a little bit easier all right fanny and layla oh fanny says thank you so much robin well fanny i'm i'm happy i'm happy i'm very happy that you are studying english consistently uh you're always trying to improve fanny and uh you're bringing questions here. That tells me that you are trying to learn. And I will always help people who are trying to learn. Layla, you're lucky no boys. You're lucky no boys ever like me. Could you pronounce no boys? You're lucky. You're lucky no boys. No boys ever like me. 
No boys ever like me. No boys ever like me. Does that help, Layla? No boys ever like me. Fanny, how about soap and shop? Soap, shop, sh sh shop. Fanny, are you repeating after me? Soap, sh sh. Gotta look at the mouth. Sh shop, S soap, sh shop. Layla, maybe that was my last question list you want to answer. No, oh, I, I, it's one hour, guys. I'm going to finish up in the next one minute. Get any last questions or comments in right now. Tick tock. million thanks for today yeah thanks lolly lolly you're very quiet today lolly lolly and frank see you guys next week why are you why you're why are you why are you why are you why are you here late why are you here late well, you know, no, Layla, you're you're reading from a comic book. That's gonna be very informal speaking. So, the comic book is talking about an informal contraction. So, the the, the comic book is very informal. It's using an informal contraction of, and some people might say, "Why are you here? Why are you here?" And they're trying to express that in writing. But that why are you is not a word. That's just a spoken word. Contractions, you know, it's it's called a informal. only spoken we can't write it you can never write this you can never write it all right you can only say it but the comic book is different they follow different rules so they wrote it that's fine in the comic book but if you're writing a text message don't do that lewis i can't catch the word can't I always mishear it for can. Yeah, can and can't. Even native speakers can mix that up. So you got to be very careful. Can and can't. All right. See you, Samuel. Mike Tech. Elisa. Lewis, did you have to turn all your classes virtual because at the same time? Yep. I cannot go to my university. I have to teach online. All right, Layla, thank you. And Lewis, thank you again. And thank you. All right, I'm going to finish up, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next week. And I hope you learned something today. So please continue to study English every day, guys. Take care.